what did you say? You met somebody last week and they're like, oh my God, I would totally listen to your show. You're so much fun. They met you oh, for five yeah. minutes. They, yeah, it was awesome. It, I was shopping and I had a, it was, it was great. And these, this guy and this girl were working there and he's like, you should totally have a show. I would watch you. I said, actually, that's funny because I'm, I'm starting a show. And I, I told them I didn't have my business card yet. I told them what it was. I had them go to Instagram and, and like it. <laughs> and I, and I get it all the time. I would say at least two to three times a week. People are like, you should have a show. Welcome to the Elite View Podcast, where we explore the fabulous, extraordinary world of the people who move the needle of success. Join our hosts, Tiffany and Kyle, as we dive into the stories and insights of the Elite Few, who are making a difference and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. My name's Kyle Goodnight. I'm the producer of the Elite Few podcast, and with me is our illustrious host, Tiffany Feeney. Say hi, Tiffany. Hi. <laughs> So what we're going to be doing today is giving you an introduction to what the Elite Few podcast is going to be all about. Um, Tiffany has some very good insights on how she wanted to create this podcast. What's it been about a year or so that we've been talking about creating the podcast? Yeah, at least, yeah, it was since um, May of last year. I am Tiffany and I live in Orlando, Florida. Um, I jump a lot of places depending on what's going on. So you'll probably be catching me in different cities, different places. Oceans, mountains, seaways, the byways, the highways. Yeah, all, I can't all wait to see where that stuff's going to take you, man. I, I can't wait to have that stuff be part of our podcast and and uh, and bring that information to the people that you meet. I don't know how you do it, Tiffany. I don't know how you meet the most incredible people. I mean, of course, I was one of the oldest friends. We've known each other since our freshman year in high school. So yes. you met somebody incredible way back when, right? Right away. Right off the bat. <laughs> Feelings mutual. Feelings mutual. So, yeah. but and you your, do. And your whole family. I met you. Yeah. I, I was friends with your whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. My, my daughter and you are, are kind of besties and, uh, and you know, you give my son advice, just like you give your son advice, just like I give your son advice. <laughs> yes. That's and true. then we both, yeah, and I then mean... we both hold Jennifer's hand through life. Right. No. <laughs> Well, sometimes Jennifer and I hold your hand, but you know, well, we'll a hundred percent. And and where would I be if that didn't happen? Where would Amen. I be if that That's didn't true. happen? That's true. Yeah. Okay. So um, what no, do you I, leave you, you and I did meet a great guest that we're going to have on our show together. You found her we first. We did. We, who, who's her, that? What? Stevie? Stevie day okay. drinking at Rainforest Cafe Animal Kingdom. That was so much fun. I still that look back was... to that day and think, oh my God, this is what a, an adult Disney could look like. Yep. So yeah, I was just getting ready to say that, that Tiffany and I meet some of the, the you know, Tiffany and I, if you haven't noticed, and you're going to notice in this podcast moving forward, we are basically twins um, when it comes to our personalities. And Tiffany's even a little bit higher of an energy than I am. And that's saying something, right? So because I'm an extrovert, <laughs> Tiffany is an extra extrovert, as I like to call them. So yeah. <laughs> there's two extras in, in, in <laughs> Tiffany's extrovertism, if that's even a word. I just made up a word. Yeah extrovertism. I love it. I love it. I'm going to use it now. It's in my vocabulary right. list. Extroversion. Extrovertism. Yeah. Yep. Extra, so extrovertism. Um, with that being said, just a little simple story about uh, someone we, we met um, at a, at a bar at the rainforest cafe in, in Disney world uh, animal kingdom This couple nice, uh, you know, a little bit older than us. Uh, he came up sat down next to me. I, I struck up a conversation. Then you got there. I introduced you to them. I had like a 20 minute conversation prior to you coming. Now you and Stevie go on like weekend trips together. And her husband is a rocket scientist, like truly a rocket yeah. scientist. She is yeah. a deaf woman living in a, in a sound world and can hold a conversation with you like nobody's business just so well, she can okay, see I, when she sees you. I do need to say something about that. Sure. Um, sure. She's 20% deaf in the one ear. So okay. she sits me on that side. And I think we should both realize I'm not quiet. No, you're loud. So she, I <laughs> asked her once, we were at Disney, day drinking, it was wonderful. Her and I, her husband went back to the hotel. Um, we were, uh, walked around, I said, are you, it was loud everywhere. I said, can you hear me okay? She was, I never cannot hear you. I, I can always hear you. <laughs> 
Is he full deaf in the one ear though? I, I believe so. We'll find out when we ask yeah, her some yeah. questions. Well, and I've got we're going to have her on. She's an amazing because person. Because we're doing a cruise. Yeah. yeah, and she's an amazing yeah. person. Her husband's an amazing dude. We, you know, we came up with this wanting to do a podcast a year ago. Doing that, that well, actually a little over a year ago. That's when I think the thought process of doing a podcast came up. Well, we were talking about doing a podcast already, right? Right, right. We just, with all the, yeah. With all a lot of stuff, yeah. And then <clears throat> the idea of interviews was just kind of new and had just kind of birthed. It mm -hmm. wasn't even, I don't think I even had legs yet. And when we met her <clears throat> and you were like, we need to interview her. Yeah, yeah. And we kind of grew from right. that moment. Right, yeah. and that's the thing. We... You know, Tiffany came year. to me. Tiffany came to me after a very traumatic situation, which we will get into at some point in time. Maybe even a little bit of a teaser. She can't speak about it too much right now because of legal issues. But there is a reason why Tiffany wanted to start this pod, a podcast, because yeah. they she needed to get some stuff off of her chest and out of her brain, and the podcast format was the best way to do it, because. Yeah. It's it can help someone. What Tiffany's story is going to help someone in the world, I can guarantee you. Um, because she has come through and she's most of the way through the situation now and is a completely different person. And I've never met anybody as positive and as energetic after the torment and the horrible situation you went through. I I, I applaud you, first of all, of, of, oh, of your you. strength over this last year and a half since the information was shared with me, which, like I said, we can't speak about it now. Um, a bit of a teaser. We will get that. It will be a series. That's another format of this podcast. We are going to have guests on that may have a couple of podcasts in a row. We may have guests on that are repeat guests that talk about a continuation of their first topic. Um, we're hoping that we have interactions from our guests that ask questions so we can get them people back on, get people back on that we've had as guests. And then of course, new guests. So our format is gonna be series-based. It's gonna be one-off based. Things as far as um, financing uh, to uh, healing processes, to what other, uh, you know, the, the living in a, a sound world with, and we gotta come up with a name for Stevie's show. You know, we wanna interview elite people the elite few. Okay, we'll, we'll back up. What does the elite few mean? As everybody sees on our podcast, the few is letters, F-E-W. I'm driving down the road talking to Tiffany. We can't find a name for our podcast. We talk about talks with Tiffany and stuff like that, right? Different weird, obvious names. And then she's like, blah, 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 blah. I can't even remember how you did it because it was such a blur well, to me I'll tell now. you what it is. I'll tell you exactly what happened because I was telling you how I was speaking to my friend, Martha. And 10, 13 years ago, 2010, I told her I wanted to do a show very much like you remember, Kyle, PM Magazine. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's a blast from the past. I know. <laughs> 489 years ago, exactly to the day. Um, and right. I, I said, I want to call it. And I told her this very exact thing. And um, I said, I, I want to call it. Um, elite few, fabulous, extraordinary world. Boom. And originally I thought about women, but you know, I feel like our society. And then I stopped today, you right here in that yes. same conversation. I said, back the yes, fuck up. Exactly. I yeah, said, back the fuck exactly. up. I said, this you just found your name. I'm like the elite few podcast. That's it. That's the name, Tiffany. And you're like, what? Yeah. I, cause I literally stopped your train of thought. Like I just did right yeah. now. Yeah. Fabulous, extraordinary world. But we, the, we, it's, it is an extraordinary world and there's so many fabulous right. people in it. And I yeah. originally wanted to go with women, but the reason I didn't want to stay there is because I feel like our society emasculates men and we don't, we, we escalate women to a point that's not real in the sense that we are, have to work together. I, I couldn't, I am a fully aware that we need both sexes in this world. And I don't <laughs> believe one is higher than the other. I think we need to, and grasp it and i travel so much and i meet people i meet people on the street corner that have stories that will wreck your soul i met a guy at the airport and he's like you need to do a whole show called um inter uh, airport uh what was it called airport interactions airport um exchanges or something because i will i have a bar drinking habit 
it's 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 a wonderful it's a wonderful hobby it's a hobby and it's bar it's airport bar drinking you meet the most fabulous people bar drinking absolutely yes. at, at airports absolutely. airports yeah you can't get because first you know of all, why they're, they're they're, they're i think the reason why we can because you and i are extroverts we know that yes we can strike up conversations with a wall basically you know, yeah. and we yeah. can get that wall to talk. <laughs> like, like yes. It's, yes, we can. It's, no, yeah, we have it. that yeah. innate ability. And, and we, really we both have that. But I did it. Right. Yeah, exactly. But the thing, the reason why I think the airports and the bars is people are like, wait, saying, I'm never going to see this guy again in my life. I can open yeah. up to this person. I can be me without judgment. And if he does judge me yeah. or if she does judge me, I'm on a plane to Texas and she's on a plane to Florida. I'll never see her again. Yeah. I could give her my, I don't have to give her my real name. I don't, yeah. I can tell them that I'm, you know, I'm Regina Falange and, and Ken Adams, you know what I mean? From friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, what's your, what's your go-to, like what's your go-to name? I, My go-to name, I, if I don't want them to know the real school, me. When I was in high school, I used to use Whitney all the time at oh, bars. Oh, I didn't know that. Whitney. Yeah, I'm Austin I, James, yeah. by the way. Nice to meet you, Austin James. Nice to meet you. And what was my <laughs> name? It was... Freeman or Goodman, depending on the night. Ooh, Whitney Freeman I like Goodman or Goodman. Because yeah. it's close to good night, right? So um, no. Um, <laughs> it would be whatever rolled out of my mouth first. So I, I went both ways because depending on what how much I was drinking at the time, because we could drink I've back heard in that about school, you. the law had just changed. But... <laughs> I said I've heard that about you going both ways. What? No, I digress. Yeah. <laughs> that was in the eighties. Okay, that's not true. It's happened since then, but it's not a habit. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> The point is not together, um, not together. Let's make that. I am a happily married man. <laughs> that's true. Oh, right. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. But that is true. We want to make that very clear to the public. Yeah. Um, We're very clear. We have been longtime friends. Yeah. We went on, we yeah. went to see one movie in high school and we've been best friends ever since. So, <laughs> well, we were friends before the movie. You actually called right. me crying right. after homecoming. I think you're forgetting that well, we were I, already best friends. I, and that's Should why I, I didn't bring it up because I've already no. forgotten. Right. Okay. Move on. <laughs> I know all the details. I remember everything. I still hate Move that on. girl because I know and I don't, still which is great. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like to this day. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 I know who you do. I know who it is. Yeah. Man, I can I've hold the bridge. You need to build it too. Yeah, you do. <laughs> that's why I think you and Jen get along so well as your grudge holders to the to the nth degree. I think we're friends. Oh. No, I, I would probably have um I'd probably have a threesome with Jen, but it wouldn't be with you, it'd be with Miles Teller. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, no, I no, no, yeah. 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 She, she would, would be totally down with probably that. go for it then. If I brought oh, in Miles Teller, Jen would do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So. After especially watching yeah. Maverick last week at the yeah. beach. She watched yeah. Maverick. She's like, that was a really good movie, and he's really cute. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's a good-looking man. I'm not. I'm pretty I'm sure she might call in and be like, and... "I'm on that, Tiffany. And if you're in California and you meet him, call me in." I'll be like, "All right, Jen, we're on. He all stays right, in. Right. Let's let's rope this." Up. So one thing you're gonna find <laughs> out about Tiffany and I, we're gonna rope each other in quite a bit. We're gonna have to like make up a sign that we see each other. And like she said before, she's in Orlando, Florida. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. We will eventually. Most of the time. Have, most of the yeah, time. most of the time. Yeah, and she's gonna be gallivanting around the world world um i've got my own travels that i'll be doing i'm actually going to be in orlando next month and we may actually have a live show where we're together yep. uh, interviewing people and maybe we'll bring you some footage from when we go day drinking at epcot and see how many well, we people will. we meet there because we're going to meet yes. i'm already putting it out there to the universe we're going to meet somebody incredible and they're going to be on oh, our show stay and they're going to change gonna somebody's live life from epcot we're going to be live a lot you're going to see lots okay. of live drunk footage it's yep. going to be awesome tiffany unleashed and, at epcot and, and just Maybe like tiffany has been talking to me over the last couple of days before we did this intro video is you know manifesting is going to be one of our shows um, part of manifesting is putting out to the universe the positive energy and the things that we want in life and not being negative. And we're going to get into a lot of that. We're going to have some deep shows. There's going to be some upsetting shows. There's going to be some controversial shows. I know it. I don't know exactly what they are yet. We're still creating our guest list. But, you know, I even put some big names that will eventually be on our shows because I honestly feel that we will get to the point where people want to be on our shows because of you. Because you are an intriguing a amazing person who finds the coolest people in the world and have like nobody has ever like what did you say you met somebody last week and they're like oh my god i would totally listen to your show you're so much fun they met you oh, for yeah. five minutes they, they 
they it, it was yeah it was awesome it, it, i was i was shopping and i had a it was it was great and these this guy and this girl were working there and he's like you should totally have a show i would watch you i said actually that's funny because i'm i'm starting a show and i i told them i didn't have my business card yet i told him what it was i had him go to instagram and, and like it and um and i and i get it all the time i would say at least two to three times a week people are like you should have a show so yeah i totally agree. I'm, and you know and right now we've got some sponsors lined up that are that were we're talking to if you're listening to this or watching this and you'd like to be a sponsor on our show by all means like i said our our focus is going to be very broad spectrum we don't we're we are interviewing fabulous extraordinary everyday people that make this an amazing world and those people are the ones that move the needle of success in their world and they have actually reached out to help people we will be interviewing people that have helped tiffany over her last year um some amazing guests that have done that and and have helped tiffany be the person and the woman that you see right now in front of you that she was not a year ago a broken person that was being held together by swiss cheese is my opinion you were barely holding on Okay, we were really worried. All yeah. of us good friends with you were really worried about you. We were really worried mm -hmm. about your son. We were worried about everything around you um, because of the, the devastating trauma that you you uh, went through from from unfortunately, um, you know, someone who trusted uh, more than anybody. Um, and like I said, yeah. that's going to be a tease. Um, we will let uh, by the end of this uh, show today, um, this little introductory show. Uh, Tiffany is going to talk a little bit about um, the trauma that she went through, but not enough to uh, uh, have anything come back on her when it comes to the legalities of what she's still in the process of dealing with. So other than that, any other guests that you want to talk about that we may be having on? I know that you've got more in your head than I've got on paper because we right now we're still so trying to. We have so many great guests coming up. <laughs> um, the beautiful story about this woman uh, who's gone through so much with her child and getting a diagnosis. And I, for one, know how horrible it is dealing with doctors, especially in Florida, and getting right. any through diagnosis. Your own struggles. Yeah. From my own struggles and my own from issues. Years ago. And, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And having to deal with all that and 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 fight it, it's really horrible. Um uh, I we have, oh my, my gosh, we're definitely gonna talk to some surgeons. People get a good grasp. On everything that goes into plastic surgery, the before, the after, the during, what you got to get through, the things you have to do, the lymphatic therapies, all of that. We're going to also touch base with people who have new products coming up and things that are going to Oh, the one you just told world. me about earlier about the stroke product. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. They're going to be very dude, excited. Very people, excited about that People product. will watch that episode and their sales yeah. are going to jump because we're going to have 100,000 yeah. viewers in the next three to four months. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I mean, for that, yeah. I agree. Yeah, that I, sounds... I really truly believe that that product is phenomenal. And yep. you and I both know with stroke yep. victims, that's, that's a great thing. Yep. But don't talk about it. You don't want to spoil it. Um, <laughs> don't spoil it. <laughs> marathon runners. I mean, think about all the people. This is right. We, it's not just limited to stroke, but anyway, we'll move on. You're right. That's um, true. I didn't even think about that yeah. aspect because you literally told me about that in the pre show before we start, before we hit record today. You told me about that. And my, yeah. my, my um, medical product uh, development yeah. uh, spider tenses went up. Just a real quick yeah. background of who I am. My name's Kyle yeah. Goodnight. Like I said, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, go Bucks. Um, I'm also, I've been in the medical field for the past um, 25 years or so, uh, both in the hospital setting and the first responder setting. I'm also a handyman and a voiceover actor. And that's how I got into doing podcasts through my voice and through doing commercials and e-learning. So that's a little bit about me. Um, so I, you know, if you email producer at the elite or whatever it'll eventually be, it'll be me talking to you about stuff and lining up the guests. So uh, most of the time, unless they're, unless Tiffany meets them, um, and even when she does meet him, you most likely will eventually talk to me. Actually, not most likely. You will be talking to me after you meet Tiffany or I meet you. Um, I'll be setting up the technical stuff um, uh, and, and all that stuff. So if you're somebody who is a, a fabulous, extraordinary person and moves the needle for your part of the world, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. The email, I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Right now, it's the elite few. It, the, hmm, let me back up. 
It's the elite few podcast at gmail.com. And I'll put that on the bottom of the screen. So um, uh, like I said before, lots of guests. Um, anybody else you want to tease before we talk about the reasoning behind wanting to get things off your chest and your situation? Um, yeah, we, I did. There was a, a couple of the people I think we really should touch base on. Um, we talked about, oh, I have um, Tristan um, is this 13 year old, he's about to be 14 year old kid who's making a wax for skateboards sells it in stores, sells it at events. It's really great. I'm very impressed. He's quite the entrepreneur. He's always got something going and he came up with this on his own. So I definitely okay. want to, we're going to interview that kid. That's yeah. cool. You told me about him. I'm like, that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, yeah. there's going to be a lot, you know, we've, um, we've got people that, um, that went to high school with us that I want to interview. Yes. Uh, we've got people the that help. Yeah. That guy, I mean, I mean, the think we've got a judge. Guy. We've got a we've got a judge. We've got a national ranked judge yes. that graduated with us. We've got pastors yes. who who created their own churches that I want to hear all about how she created her own church, you know, and uh, she yeah. doesn't even know that we're gonna have her on yet because I haven't reached out to her yet. But we're gonna have some oh, amazing. And our people. friend who had his own accident <laughs> with 23 surgeries, he owns a couple bars, one in Columbus, one over in North Carolina. Right. South Carolina, I can't remember, one of the Carolinas. He had that horrible accident, had to go through 23 surgeries. <clears throat> I mean, we've yep. got a list of people that are just We've phenomenal. got a list of people, and it's going to grow because the concept of this is right now in a post, you know, I, I mean, I hate to, I always hate to bring this up because, you know, we're past it, but, you know, in a, in a, in a post, we all, we all saw trauma this, these past two, three years. Yeah. We all had our own stories of I'm I'm on the front lines. I saw it every day. Terrorist I was attacks, in, prison. Yeah. I, I was mean, on the fear. Got, I, all of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have we have such a healing need right now in this world. And this podcast is going to be that. Yes, you will hear some damning stories. You're going to hear some stories that are that that shake you to the core. But it's all in place so that we can actually heal and continue the healing process over these last few years and give ourselves the, uh, how do I say this? Give ourselves the um, knowledge and the ability to be open so we can heal. That's the biggest thing about communication is the way you heal. Tiffany, I know that you've gone through some healing process, um, both physically and mentally throughout your process. And, you know, if you, I think that's a good segue. If you want to just talk about what um, inspired you wanting to get your message out to the world, go ahead and then we'll wrap this up and we will see you on the first uh, episode of, of having a real guest, which right now we're I mean, still lining them up. <laughs> yeah, right now, cool. I mean, really physically and, and emotionally and psychologically and relationship wise, it has been an insane five years. I mean, I have to say in the last three years alone, um, I had to just get my health in order. The surgeries alone were one, two, Two, three, five, uh, six. I had eight procedures or surgeries, nine, I mean, in, in three years. And I was wow. pretty much, even the last year, continually recovering, either physically or emotionally. I had a horrible, horrible relationship situation that took a left turn I didn't see coming. And it ripped my soul off out of my body. And it really, there are situations that happen that make you question. And I think that's where we came to this place that we're in. You question, who am I? How did I get here? And this is where I wanted to go. How do you teach women to deal with narcissistic relationships? Recognize when you walk away, you do not stay. You do not continue to help them. You do not continue to, you get the fuck out. I mean, honestly, and then heal yourself. You've got to heal and nobody can do it for you. Nobody. You can, you have your friends, you have people to pick you up, but you, you got to stand up. You got to stand up. You got to pull yourself up. And there were days, Kyle, there were days where I was like Trinity in the matrix. And I was like, Tiffany, get up, get up. And um, I right. can honestly say I never spent a day in bed. I didn't do that. I'm not a crumbler, but it was, it was all the effort in the world to do it. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, um, 
was a lot of lies, a lot of deception. And I know people are going to um, really heal from finding out how to heal. Like if you can, if I can teach these people how to heal and how to get through this and how to push themselves out, then, then that's what I want to do. Exactly. And that's what it's all about. I think, I think that's why we create, wanted to create a, a podcast. So not only that you could heal, but I remember talking early on, you're like, I don't want anybody else to deal with this. I want to teach people the signs of this yeah. issue. Yeah. Um, exactly. Because like I said, we can't go deep into that issue yet, but we will. And it will be yeah. shocking for the people that know Tiffany. You'll, if yeah. you, if, if you're not one of her close friends um, and know about it yet, but you know, Tiffany and you hear about this story, it will be, it will be bone chilling. It was bone chilling when you told me. And remember what I told you that day that you called me and we were trying to, uh, you were back in Ohio and we were trying to meet up and talk about something. And I could just feel it that you needed to tell me something. What I tell you? I said, I don't remember no matter what me. it is. I said, no matter yeah. what it is, Tiffany, we'll get through this together. Yeah. As, yeah, as I remember that lifelong friends. And, and it was bad. Here, and I didn't say anything to you yeah. that day. I, didn't. I mean, it involved and, it. Right. Yeah. It had major issues with involving many people that were um, innocent. So yeah, it's one of those things. But, and that, I don't know if I was, it wasn't even that I was holding it from you. I don't think I had. Um, no, digested. you wanted to. Yeah, exactly. You it was yeah. very new to you and very fresh and a, a, a yeah, very I didn't really know right <clears throat> i didn't know what to say yet i didn't even know right. how to um tell right. myself what happens does that make sense? right exactly exactly but i told you i said no matter what it is we'll get through it it may take a while i, mean, I don't know yeah. what it is yet but it will take a while but we'll get through it and i'll help you through it and that's what i think we've we've done over the past year now i've not been the only person yeah. that's helped you through it i am not the <laughs> you've had multiple pillars of help and they weren't all on me and they weren't all on you know uh, other people that you uh that you have in your life but um and that's the key that's the key to actually spread this podcast into what it is today instead of it being only about that trauma this podcast yeah. is going to be about all the things that have helped and it's going to spin off with conversations of great people and the elite people in this world that move the needle of success in their world and for their people that they know and we want to share that and that's why this podcast is here i'm excited i'm mean, really Me excited I think i'm excited gonna we're gonna be... we're gonna we're, there's gonna be some funny ones there's gonna be some interesting ones there's gonna be some downright gut-wrenching ones you yes. know i'm not we will take you on a roller coaster of emotions with our podcast um i firmly believe that uh mostly fun because tiffany is not boring if you haven't noticed <laughs> <laughs> I can be. I can have those yeah. days, but yeah, it doesn't happen much. So, like I said, <laughs> reach out to us on socials where we've got a Facebook group, uh, the Elite Few Podcast. We've got uh, Elite Few Media on Instagram. Um, we're going to be on, we are on Twitter under the Elite Few Media as well. Um, we will uh, be sharing this stuff. Um, we have a website, Elite Few dot com the elite few dot com i apologize i'll put it up on the bottom well and they'll be in the in the show notes i'll have our website all of our socials down there um and if you want to be on our show don't hesitate to go to our website reach out to us fill out the little form with your name what your story could be what you've encountered what you want to bring to the world and help people with and we'll get you on other than that, Tiffany, do you have any last things you want to say? And then we'll wrap this uh, introduction up or write about no, a half think, an hour, which is what we wanted to be. No, I think it's great. Um, I think uh, I'm really excited. So everybody be safe, be open, and trust God. All right. Take care, everybody. Hey there, and a huge thank you from Tiffany and myself for tuning in to our introduction of the Elite View Podcast. We're thrilled to have you on board as we embark on a journey to uncover the incredible stories of everyday people who help move the needle of success that make it the fabulous, extraordinary world we live in. It's amazing to see how these remarkable individuals are shaping the world. They inspire us all to reach for the stars and create a brighter tomorrow. But before you head out, we've got something special to share with you. Brace yourself for the upcoming episode because we've lined up some true awe-inspiring guests that you'll absolutely won't want to miss. We have a family who has triumphed over the unthinkable 
and emerge stronger than ever, redefining what it means to serve their loved ones. We're especially excited to sit down with an extraordinary couple who are trailblazers with a fresh new product that will change the way we hydrate. Their story will leave you with a renewed sense of hope, motivation, and a burning desire to make a difference. Now, here's what we need you to do. Spread the word. Tell your friends, family, and colleagues about the Elite View Podcast. Mark your calendars. Set those reminders. And be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button on YouTube and all your favorite podcast platforms. Remember, success is within your reach. And we're here to provide you with the inspiration and motivation to chase after it. So keep striving for greatness. And together, let's make it a fabulous, extraordinary world.